Uh, hi guys, uh, here we are. We're to starting to build this project. So we're gonna start by connecting everything where it where it needs to go. So right now I'm connecting the my multimeter doesn't actually have the temperature reading, but uh, we can depend on the millivolt scale. So we're gonna connect uh, the thermocouple to its connection. This is the after identifying as I said in the previous video you should identify the pins so this is my thermocouple pins this one is for the read switch and this is one for the sd protection this is the fan and uh, now the fan is actually well we're gonna connect some jumper wires to some crocodile wires i guess that that's what they call what they are called uh, sorry for my English over there anyways so we're gonna connect this to this little board right here which will uh, okay so uh, what is plus this is it and I, I've already set this board to step up 20 volt, uh, 12 volt to 24 volts so no worries we're gonna put that down for a while and we're also going to connect some other wires or some other cables to the power supply over there um, let's see it right there uh, so yeah here it is so you're gonna hear I guess the fan will start right now Well, it didn't. God knows why. Maybe I did this backwards, I believe. Yep. I think I did it backwards, didn't I? No, that's correct. I didn't. didn't stop. God knows why. Hold on a second. I'm just not quite sure what's happening over here. Uh, by the way, this is the programming. I still do remember. Normally the fan should start, but it doesn't. Why? God knows. So anyway, we're gonna jump ahead and uh, connect, uh, connect the heating element to the dimmer uh, to the dimmer uh, circuit. Uh, so just like that. This is AC. No polarity matters even over here. So um, yeah. Sorry, this is messed up a little bit, but bear with me. Now that's connected, we just need to figure out why. Why doesn't the fan start? I mean, everything looks okay. Hold on, I'm gonna give me a test over here. Don't know what's the matter with this guy. Uh, so here we are. I was just uh, that I swapped the pins, but now you can hear the fan is starting. But uh, now we're gonna plug in, plug in the the dimmer, so that we'll have control of the of the heating elements we're gonna use a scrap board to test that out so uh, for instance we have this circuit right here that we want to desolder it's still not hot enough so here we are, we're gonna adjust the dimmer uh, in order to do some tests about soldering. You can see right here, uh, the multimeter gives us some readings in millivolts, which is kind of equivalent to temperature readings. I just don't know, I gotta look it up on the internet, look up the, the theory behind that. So we're gonna start by desoldering this uh, circuit right here. So you, I guess, as I've seen in some tutorials, you should uh, 
like make the area hot first then you will concentrate on the circuit you wanna get after grabbing it like that so as you see there is a lot of smoke in there because I've uh, the temperature is too high a little bit uh, we're gonna uh, resolder it as you see it, it comes off so easily but if you wanna solder it again you can just do that I mean it's pretty easy I can just get it to to stay in place and hopefully there you go we just got it back but uh, I just need to have control over the temperature because I don't have no station over there to, to take care for that uh, to take care of that for me so I will have to manage but I'm usually want to just to desolder components from scrap boards so no worries to mess up the board like I just did here so you can see the burns anyway that's it for this uh, video and uh, next time uh, we'll do another video about this uh, installed on some kind of platform some kind of wooden platform I guess uh, that's it